too, with some questions for you. What is the collective ego? <sighs> to be straight up, the collective ego is the devil. What is the what is the devil? What does that mean? So to, to sum it up, it, it's a it's the it's a very angry, dark, opposing force that wants what it doesn't have. Now, where does this come from? Why does it want that so much? It basically comes from early stages of development that created systems of absolutisms. Most of it, well, not most of it, but a lot of it was created in, in stage blue. Right, so you have, you have an absolutistic society that believes you should and shouldn't do this, and that's what propels it. But in stage red, they were more hostile to each other outwardly. So their anger was more upfront. That returns in a later stage too, in psychological development. In stage coral, you will be more outwardly honest with your emotions. And nothing will bottle up because it's always coming out in thought, in mind, in behavior. Expression is the is is happening nonstop uh, through intuitive action. Okay. So the lower stages are creating something unconscious, a collective unconscious anger that is the collective ego, collective devil, or the source of all rage. And the way to deal with this is literally for it to evolve. The question is how to evolve. So this actually probably is the reason why blue hasn't evolved. What does blue want? Well, when I was in blue, when I was in a religious setting and religious dogma, we want Mashiach. We want Messiah. Why do we want that? Why do we want the end? Because it symbolizes we've won. What, what did we win? We were successful in our mission. Well, what is the mission? The mission is to uphold a doctrine. That's the mission. It's to, be, it's to uphold it. So there's never an end. You never actually beat the game. But it's, it's, it has you chasing your tail over and over and over again, so you don't realize that. You don't realize that it's a game that's unbeatable. So people perpetually stay in religious doctrine. But what that does is it sustains the ego that believes that you need to get the end result. You need to get to the end. You need to beat this game. So that's what's holding them back. It's a belief in a messiah. So you should, you should antagonize their beliefs. It's a number one belief that messiah is going to come someday. He's going to reveal himself. Christians believe it's Jesus, the Jews believe it's some Jewish guy, the, uh, you know, the Muslims believe it might be probably Jesus, and then other few people involved. But you have, you, have, uh, you have a system here, right? Not so simple. The source of the, of, the, of, the, of the blue problem is the belief in a Messiah, the belief in that there's something you're waiting for. And so the smart ones in the religion pick up on this, they say, don't think about the Messiah, think about day to day. And what they really believe, uh, if they get into the philosophy, is that really there is no real Messiah on a technical level, except to help the human psychology sustain, hold on to hope for the future. And stage red and blue and even purple desired this hope. And you could say that the collective unconscious, whether or not it needs it, is actually irrelevant because there's some kind of futuristic event that is being predicted and many people believe that that is this era that's what people believe and I you know it makes sense but I'm not, I'm not getting I don't like getting into dogmatic type of lingo that's not my stage my stage doesn't like that it doesn't want to misdirect people maybe in a few months or even a you know well, however long it takes I I'll get back into it but right now it's not where I'm holding and so the this collective ego is, is found in blue primarily and it's sustained in blue Meaning if you want to have sex, a random person wants to have sex, you can't do it. Why? Because the collective ego won't allow you. It says, no, you can't have it. You can't have your desires fulfilled. You can't have relations. Someone might say, wait a minute, you're allowed, you're allowed to go on pornography. Because it's not a person. A person it has the collective ego. The internet does not have a collective ego. It's not that advanced yet. AI is not that advanced to the point where it... it, it it controls itself. You know, I could talk to it, interact. It's not that intel. It's not that complex of an intelligence. It's getting there. 
And so people are really where the... I'm not repeating what's in my ear, just... It helps block out the sound from this side and then it helps me think better. Um, there's also less of an echo because it uh, drowns out some of the sounds, so it makes it easier to talk. But the collective ego is mostly in blue. And they're also in red, right? But no, red is kind of phased out. It's very hard to find a red civilization and they don't have a lot of power. It's mostly uh, orange that has the power, which is why orange is gradually shifting blue, but it's a slow process. And blue is retaining strong because of an identity, whether it's your dress, your, your name, or uh, your doctrine. That's, that's everyone, for thousands of years, we've known that's the way to keep uh, identity. That's what, you know, it's been taught in religious doctrine. Which is fine. It's not going anywhere because it's too strong. So we're, we're, let it, we're allowing them to have their identity and slowly, gradually go into orange until it's one thread left and then they'll, they'll be, it'll be a thing of the past. With some kind of new age religion that's in orange, you know, some kind of, and then it'll evolve easier from there. But we're letting blue live, we're letting blue survive, because um, that's the only way. Uh, but still, along that process, there's a rage from that collective ego. But there's still a rage from the collective ego of orange. Orange society's orange mentality, where it says, I want to be the highest status. I don't want this person to be richer than me. I'm threatened by him. So really, the collective egos that are primarily uh, based in orange and form one collective ego unconsciously, so this is like SDI, SDI is Spiral Dynamics Integral, that is where uh, consciousness, that is where consciousness has its flaws, and in, in, uh, in, that's where it's coming from. So it's primarily in blue, because they're absolutistic. You can and can't have, have this thing. So they're holding a, a large portion of people back. How can people have their desires fulfilled in, in, in orange? Because they're not part of orange. Meaning, if you're a part of a blue society, the, especially because of the community standards, you will be pulled into their world. There'll be subconscious judgments among the religious, which, which will create a web of interlock that will force you not to be able to be successful because it means that someone within the community escaped it will mean that someone within the community is thriving when evil people don't thrive. And you're not, and, and if you were righteous, you would be in the community. Because they have an absolutistic way of viewing it. So therefore, you really have to be outside that framework to be successful, not to be hindered by a collective force, an unconscious, invisible collective force that we know as the, and the way to get, and the way to get past the, uh, the orange is probably to move into green, to move into a more holism, uh, not holism, but people-oriented society. So, and each ego will have their problems, but there's always going to be the outliers, and it's really the collective ego from each stage that's preventing the person from growing. In my case, the collective ego that's antagonizing me the most is blue. I'm... So also around society of orange. Many people in blue are in orange unknowingly. That's why they're not as religious or clinging as, as much. True. But I don't have enough credentials. Maybe my speech skills are not advanced enough. Maybe I have too many canker sores that make me sound like a mumbling. So I sound a little bit like a child sometimes. Yeah. See a canker sore right there? So I sound like a child sometimes. I go slur my words. Maybe I don't sound professional enough. But all that does is it makes me look like someone who doesn't have the skills to thrive in uh, a capitalist society. And so the collective ego says, you're not going to provide money for us. You're not going to give us what we believe is important. So you're an outcast. And we don't want to give you aid because that will make the left win. And the left has agendas and priorities that, could are, that are going to cause a downfall to our economy and therefore ability to be prosperous, especially the richest of us who have the most status and want to sustain that status. Now the collective ego of green is my ally because they say, look at this guy, he has a lot of issues uh, with his life, with his ability to get anywhere. There are disa dis disabling phenomenon, whether it's bi biological, whether it's uh, you know uh, skills-wise, abilities, or whatever, they're very sympathetic. So that collective ego likes me because there's no, there's no barrier. In fact, I'm actually proof why they should help me. 
Okay, so you have major collective egos that are holding specific individuals back from being assisted. And that's, that's what, it's that rage among the two major collective egos, the orange and the blue, that's holding back people from, from, having, from living a normal life and a healthy life. And the real way, the real question is, how do you deal with blue being filled with rage? Gradually get into orange. How do you deal with orange being filled with rage? Gradually get into green. You make it clear. You make them feel guilty. But look at all the disabled people. You're just going to let them be disabled. You're going to say they don't need help. Where is your heart? And the, and the hope is that uh, either out of shame... They're going to start to allow it intellectually. Yeah, well, you're right. We're going to lose money. Or out of shame or guilt, they will start to see the value in it. Either one of those two things will happen by promoting green agendas. Just by watching Rational National, an orange will be forced to feel sympathetic and caring and uh, reform himself. So an orange person, a person interested in business, should really watch Rational National more often. Not to be brainwashed, but to, to reach a certain level of sympathy. That's the next stage of evolution in consciousness. And the more people evolve, and the more blue gets out of their blue and orange gets out of their orange, the less anger they'll be against me personally, against individuals personally, straining them, preventing them, that the second they, they try to have a job, they try to make money, they get a phone call that distracts them, and then they, their employer doesn't call them back, or this and that, because of the collective rage, trying to prevent specific individuals who are wicked, they shouldn't, they're bad people, they shouldn't have money, they shouldn't be successful. And people in orange, oh he has disabilities, he's not able to succeed in life, he's not able to be independent, he doesn't serve us what he, what, what he should serve us. So they strangle him and say, no, you stay down here while we stay up here, and they ignore him. Because that's the whole oppressive system of the orange, very similar to red, just with finances. And, and, pol and little inserts of policy uh, wordings that no one can understand. It gives them the right to do that, somehow, the right. That's orange ethics. And so nothing gets changed, and the collective ego, this, uh, this underconscious rage of evil, gets sustained. Because it's within these stages. Let the rage be against oppressing disabled people, oppressing people that want to evolve, people that want to grow, or people that just want money. Because wanting to grow is a whole yellow area. Just wanting money. Yellow is about intellectualism and integrating systems, integrating stages, and so on. So that's it, get us, get us moving, and then the rage will dissipate, the unconscious will enhance, and people won't have the problems they used to, and things will get a lot better. Have a good day.